Hey, what is going on guys? It's Cameron here. I hope you guys are having a lovely day so far. Today I'm going to actually share with you some a few ways you guys can actually improve your connection with Fortnite. This will ultimately remove packet loss and give you closer to zero ping if you guys struggle with having really high ping. This is the video for you. It will show you guys exactly how you can reduce all that ping and make your game a lot more playable. Before that, of course, if you guys are new, highly recommend hitting the subscribe button. I'm making content like this all the time. It helps you guys improve your gaming experience in Fortnite and also tons of tips and guide videos on how to play better. Also guys, you guys are just blowing up my metrics. Um, we're actually really close to 5,000 subs. So in advance, I just wanna say thank you guys so much because in the next day or two, we're gonna cross that threshold. So yeah guys, back to the point of this video, nobody likes lag. It makes us all get upset and it just it makes for a very terrible experience playing any game for that matter, especially Fortnite. No! I'd much prefer that all your consoles and PCs are safe out there, so let me tell you how you guys can improve all this. So guys, first things first, we need to talk about network optimizing softwares, such as like no ping or exit lag, and there's plenty of other ones I'm sure. Those are the most common ones, at least from what I've seen online. Um, I'm actually in affiliation with no ping. I've been using it for weeks now. I love it. I couldn't play Fortnite unless I have this program running on PC. So if any of you guys are on PC out there, I highly recommend clicking the link in this description because it's going to give you a link to no ping. You can get like 10 days on a free trial without any payment required. And plus, even when you pay for it, it's much cheaper than all the other competition. For as little as $5.33 a month, you can get no ping and it is a lifesaver. It dropped my ping from 70, which is what I usually get, um, to about 20. And I'm, I'm consistently at 20 now when I play Fortnite, which is fantastic. I feel like it's just made the gaming experience so much better and so much more enjoyable because I don't have to worry about lag. So let's jump into my first tip here, and this is a pretty obvious one, so I'm just gonna cover it real quick. There's a wired connection and there's a wireless connection, and this is the same for every single platform out there except for if you're on mobile. You can plug in an ethernet cable. If you ever get the chance to plug in an ethernet cable, just do it. Even if you have a wire running through your home, which I know looks kinda tacky, it's just not always doable, and that's totally fine. I just wanted to mention that, just wanted to get that out of the way real quick, that an Ethernet is always preferred if at all possible. Moving right along guys, I'm going to show you guys how you can actually fix packet loss. Believe it or not, you can get a bug in your game that causes packet loss where you'll just all of a sudden randomly dip and randomly lag. So if you get random lag spikes, this tip should help you guys out and in a lot of cases fixing it completely. SVM Gaming actually is the one who found out about this, so a quick shout out to him. So first you're gonna need to open your Epic Games Launcher. Once you got that loaded up, you can come down here to the bottom left, click Settings, and then you're gonna scroll all the way down until you get to Fortnite. You wanna expand Fortnite, and then you'll get this option here, Additional Command Line Arguments. Once you click that, you're gonna argue with Fortnite a little bit. You're gonna basically just type this in here, which is hyphen limit client ticks to throttle network updates. When you do that, I'm not sure why, that will actually cause Fortnite to be stable when you're using it. I thought it seemed ridiculous because you're typing basically a sentence for it to, uh, to <laughs> an Epic Games employee actually mentioned to type this in into the line argument so I know it's legit. After you do that, open up Fortnite again and you should be good to go. The other thing that's going to be super beneficial is making sure you have no background running applications. To do that, just click in the bottom right where this little arrow is and make sure you check every process that's running in the background. That can be shown right here. So notice we only have Epic Games Launcher and the Nvidia settings going and the rest is just our internet connection and Bluetooth. So you want to have as few of things using your internet as possible. This will actually help speed up your computer. The next thing I recommend is running some type of anti-malware or antivirus protection software scan just to make sure you don't have any virus on your computer. It's not something you need to do all the time, but at least do it once every few months. Um, I recommend Malwarebytes. It's actually the easiest one you can use. So we're just gonna go to malwarebytes.com, just download that real quick. The reason this step is super important is because if you have anything malicious that is using your internet, for one, that's just bad to have on your computer, but for two, it actually can cause your network to throttle 
and it can also mean that you'll have terrible lag spikes and could just lag in general when playing Fortnite. Alright guys, so as you can see here, we got about, um, I want to say like five pages worth of, uh, of detections of, of threats. So we're just going to quarantine all of those and remove them. Should help with my PC just work a little bit better, a little bit more smoothly, and hopefully get rid of all that lag that I might be experiencing. Once you've actually removed all those errors on your computer, go ahead and just close out of that. I'm actually going to give you guys a pro tip now. You guys can actually change your DHCP servers, which means you can actually give yourself a better connection to the Fortnite servers. So I'm going to share that with you right now. It's a little bit more clinical, so just follow along with these steps. Down here in the bottom left, you're going to type in network. Let's go ahead and pull up network status there. So once you have that selected, you're going to either click on Wi-Fi or you're going to click on Ethernet. It doesn't matter. Just scroll down to change adapter options. You can find it under both of them. It really just doesn't matter. So you click change adapter options. It doesn't matter which one you click here as well. Just double click on one of them. Go to properties down here in the bottom left. And we're going to look for internet protocol version 4. So once you click that, click on properties, and here's where the real fun begins. Because as you can see here, you can actually change your DNS servers. I've already done this to the best servers I have available, which is the Google servers. So if you want to use the Google servers, that's totally fine. Just type in these ones. It might actually increase your, um, your ping. It just depends on where you live. Um, so I'm in the Northwest. I use the Google servers because it's faster, which is 8.8.8.8.8 or 8.8 dot four dot four um so use whichever one now i'm going to show you guys the other one as well which is the uh i think the default dns servers so guys the server you see here is called cloudflare servers um this is the primary is 1.1.1.1.1 and then the alternate is 1.0.0.1 so yeah um just make sure to put these ones in either do the 8.8.8.8 or 8.4.4.8 um because Either one of those two options are going to be your best possible ping in Fortnite. It's something you'll just have to try both, unfortunately. So I would use one for a week, and if you still have lag or issues, um, or even less than that, if, if you notice that in like a couple hours you're still lagging, try out the secondary one here, um, secondary set. So yeah, guys, those will actually help your ping a dramatic amount if you haven't done that already. Now you will have to click validate settings upon exit for those to actually take effect and then just hit OK. And I realize since I'm a PC player I've been leaving a lot of our console players in the dust here. So the good news is you can do this on all systems. You can do this on PS4 and Xbox, change your DNS servers to better connecting servers hopefully. So here's how you can actually do that on PS4. I'm just going to speed run you guys through this real quick. To configure your DNS you first want to go to settings on your PS4. Then you're going to want to go to network here. Under network, you go to set up internet connection. And then you can use Wi-Fi here. And here's where everybody just uses easy. You're going to want to go to custom. Um, just do automatic for your IP address. Do not specify for DHCP name. And manual for DNS settings. That's what we want to go ahead and manually change. Here you can put in a primary and secondary DNS server just like I did. You can use the 1111 or you can use the one, and for the secondary, the 1001, or you can use the 8888 and the 8844 for the secondary DNS. That's basically it. Then just do automatic and do not use for the last two. Settings is complete and test your internet connection to see if you get a much better connection. This can solve so many issues, guys, and it's really honestly just underlooked. So definitely test that out, and then that hopefully should fix all of your, your issues today. If you guys do all those settings, you guys will hopefully have no lag anymore. Hopefully that pesky packet loss issue goes away and you guys are chilling. Once again, guys, just a huge thank you to all the support on the channel. You guys are absolutely insane. You guys have honestly made this a really huge deal for me and I really appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown. But as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out for now.